nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, guys. Feet, turn left on. How's turn everybody road, doing this fine morning? Turn right feet. <coughs> I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to make my way over to my uh, pickup place. Keep my fingers crossed that we're going to get loaded. In, uh, 300 feet, turn right on Kinney Road. We will make our way down to Toronto. Yeah. But first we gotta find out if we can get loaded, right? That's right. 1,000 feet, turn left on WI-78. I know you guys probably seen this place a bunch of times already in your term of watching my videos, but hey, every once in a while we stop here and uh, this is where we start our day out, and uh, that's what you're going to get to see. Yeah, I guess they're redoing this gas station or something, it looks like. In 400 feet, I don't turn ever left see WI-78. A lot of uh, vehicles in that gas station, but I guess they do go in there. Yeah. And as I was uh, sitting in my driver's seat here, getting ready to go, an old friend of mine uh, had parked beside me and he was backing out and he saw me so he stopped and uh, he exchanged phone numbers and uh, he uh, went on his way talk to him for a little bit and then he was on his way yeah I hadn't seen him in a long time I bet you I hadn't seen him in over a year probably not talked to him in longer than that either <clears throat> yeah, anyways that's put the hammer down go pick up our load go see how happy they are to see us only like five miles down the road here so it's not like we got a million miles to go <laughs> before we get there you know here we go guys we have picked up our load yeah I'm excited we are finally out of here we're finally heading towards Toronto yeah I'm excited now I can uh, legally make it to Toronto tonight so we'll see how far I'll be able to push it for tonight. I don't know if I'll be uh, willing to push it that far tonight, but we'll see. We just do a trailer drop out there at the customer. Yeah. So, since we're just doing a trailer drop over there, we'll see. I'm just like... I haven't had a lot of miles lately, so uh, I'm feeling like putting in these miles tonight, you know. At least get one good day worth of miles in. It's like 680 miles from here to Toronto. And in Canada we get more hours than we do in the United States, so... And uh, from the border to Toronto it's about four hours, so... Uh, I technically only need about 10 hours to get to the border. Or, eh, maybe not even, maybe not even 10 hours and I would be, uh, would be at the border because uh, it's not that far, you know. It's like 680 miles, so I don't know how much that is in kilometers, that's how I look. 680. 
that's like 1100 uh, kilometers so so yeah so that's uh, very much doable I can easily do that in 13 hours oh yeah we'll see how good we feel tonight and how late it will get and all that stuff but uh, other than that if nothing goes wrong, we'll be in Toronto tonight. Well, guys, what do you think? In a quarter mile, Is it time for us to make a pit stop? And then I think so. Miles. I think so. We are already in Michigan. We've been working really hard today. Yeah, we already got like six hours worth of driving behind us. Or maybe even a little more in than 0 that. 0.2 miles, turn left on 17 mile road. 17 mile road, whatever that means. But we got to make a stop. Take our half an hour break. Get a bite to eat. At least that's my plan. And then we gotta continue on. Yeah. And we're stopping at this little shell gas station slash truck stop up here. Look to make sure nobody coming. We don't want to cut nobody off over there, nor over here. We're looking good. Oh no, there is another one speeding coming down. Coming down. All right, where do you want to go? All right, we'll get you going. Oh no, there's another one coming, yeah. There's like a hill over there, so I can't really see them from a long distance ahead, so it's kind of hard to, uh, to make the turn, but we finally get her. Yeah, you don't want to cut off a four-wheeler, that's for sure. They'll be pissed like crazy. Approaching destination in 0 0.2 miles on the left side. All right, all right, we'll do that. You see that's a bridge that goes over the interstate. There's a little hill and you can't see the traffic from over the other side, you know. So. Well, we got to have our half an hour break, which we will take over here. Yeah. You, have, you have arrived at your destination on the left side, Marshall right. Shaliga. You tell him, RJ, you tell him. Alright, let's go see where we can find ourselves a parking spot. There should be no problem in here. This is usually a place where you can find a parking spot even late at night. I stopped in here, uh, I think, like at. 10 o'clock at night and there's plenty of parking in there. Generally speaking anyways. Yeah, we'll go park over here. Yeah. We got a long ways to go yet and a short time to get there as they say in that one movie. That's right, we'll just park her right here. So, that's it. We'll see you guys a little bit later. Well guys, this is it. We are back on the highway. Yeah, we had ourselves a bite to eat. We got a four-wheeler parked there on the shoulder. So, yeah, and this guy wants to turn off too, so we'll uh, let him go ahead and do that, right? Yeah, get out of the way, I'll get out of the way. Mm. Yeah, we got 320 miles to go to uh, Mississauga, Ontario. I don't know yet if I'll make it to Toronto tonight or not. Depends how I feel. But we got about well, about two hours to the border at 420 right now so how about 630 we could be at the border and then we'll see how far we will drive yet I might just drive up to London Ontario or something like that and just call it a day and continue on tomorrow right don't have a reload just yet anyways right so, uh, 
why rush it so much, you know? If I don't have a reload, then I guess we'll just take her easy. Yeah. But we'll see yet, we'll see yet. Yeah, super, super light load like we have. We're doing really good on fuel mileage, so. My uh, gauge hasn't even lifted off of this full, all the way full still. I've been driving all day, so so far today I already got probably about six and a half hours worth of driving in. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it is. I don't really feel any wind out here either, so looks pretty calm out there today. That probably helps too, you know. Anyways, let's continue on. Alrighty guys, this chicken coop is open. So we gotta go in here. See what they want today from us. I think this is the last scale in Michigan before we get out of Michigan. Yeah. That's what I think it is. Yep, let's see which one they want us to take. Well, looks like so far we're getting the bypass. Man, those signs are hard to look, man. Good thing they got those flashing lights there on top to tell you which one to take. Because that was really hard to see. That light is just shining right on them. Uh, or the sun is shining right on them lights there. It's, it's impossible to see the LED lights. Yeah. So, let's see what they're going to tell us in here. So far we got the green light. Alright, we get the arrow. We get to go. Well, that's good. Let's put the hammer down then. Let's get out of here before they change their mind. Yeah, here we go. Let's put the hammer down. Yeah. Get up to speed by the time we get into the... Uh, Interstate. That way people don't need to slow down for me. We are light so we can get up to speed real fast. Yeah, like super truck. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm no super trucker. I'm just a regular old truck driver. Yep. Anyways, we got about 19 miles to go till we will take that M14. Yep, I usually don't go this 94 straight to the border. I always take that M, uh, M14. I like to go that way. I prefer that road. It's much better for me. Yep, once we hit that, it's about an hour, I think, to the border. Then we'll be Canada. We'll be back in Canada. Yeah. Well, guys, this is it. We are coming up to the Ambassador Bridge. Yeah, look at that. It's looking pretty good, eh? I don't know if I ever filmed this uh, coming across here at night. Yeah, it looks pretty good coming across here at night, you know? We got the right lane closed up here. I'm going to have to move into the left lane. Yeah. Sometimes they have different colors on the bridge, you know. It looks pretty gorgeous when you're coming through here. I don't know what they're doing with the right lane up here, no. We just fixed this, I think, last year. I don't know if there's something wrong with it or what. Yeah, we'll see how much of a lineup we have today. Yeah, it's just about dark already, so we probably won't be doing a whole lot of filming. Or won't be able to do a whole lot of filming. Yeah, it almost looks like this is where the lineup will start, eh? what it looks like 
Oh well. Crossing border, entering Ontario. Yeah, we're in an Ontario now. Yeah. We haven't even ta talked to uh, customs yet. We are already in Canada. Anyways, we'll see you guys all on the other side. Well, guys, we got here to Mississauga. They're quite late last night. Yeah, it was probably... Yeah, what was it? Just after 10 or something like that, around 10 o'clock we got here. Yeah, I think around 10 o'clock we got to the terminal and then we dropped the trailer and went over here to Master Steak. And they have, uh, since it was Thursday night, they have a special going on for Thursday night for it, uh, beef ribs. So I went in there and had some beef ribs. Had a nice dinner. And I was just tired, you know, so I didn't end, uh, end up finishing my video. So just uh, figured out, I'll finish it this morning. So here we are, getting ready to go and deliver our load there. And so, anyways, that's finished the video. And then uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. So stick around and we'll uh, see what we'll be up to tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking the walls down